What's up guys? So you're about to go on the road, a business trip, or even you're about to go on a vacation, but you're worried that you're gonna miss your workout days and lose your consistency. But not to worry, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you some amazing TRX metabolic exercises that's gonna help you make your workout more efficient even when you're on the road. So, you're about to go on the road, or business trip, or even on a vacation, and you're kind of panicking a little bit that, oh my God, I'm gonna miss my workout days, I'm not gonna be able to do anything, I'm gonna lose my consistency. Not to worry, TRX for me, the TRX for me is the most versatile exercise tool on the planet, in my opinion. And to say this out, I am not endorsed by TRX, but for me as a bodybuilder and an athlete, the TRX is so versatile that you can do over 500 exercises on, on the TRX. But today, I'm gonna to be showing you some metabolic exercises. The first exercise combination that I'm gonna show you is the pistol squat, the pistol TRX squat with the pistol hops. So what is gonna happen right now, I've hooked up the TRX up on the bar so you can find any bar you can find a park, a beautiful park like this, or you can even use your hotel room. There's a door stopper at the end of the TRX. So you hook it at your door and then you pull back and it's gonna set up straight up like that. So I'm gonna walk to the TRX right now. So what I'm gonna do is hold on to the TRX on the boat handles, and then I'm gonna make sure I'm not hooking, I'm not hanging onto the TRX too hard. I'm just gonna have a light grip I'm gonna keep my spine angle, lean back a little bit, and extend my legs up, and I'm just gonna go down to a pistol squat. Keep my chest up, lower into a pistol squat. Find your balance, straight up and down. So I'm gonna do about 10 reps. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, at the end, now I'm gonna hop down. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! So that's the pistol squat on one leg. I did ten reps. 10 hops and I'm gonna to switch to the other side we're gonna do 10 reps and 10 hops as well on the other side now this exercise is gonna help you get your glutes get your quads get your heart rate going so you can burn more calories burn more fat and because I'm doing it on the sand so it's very difficult for me to push off so I have to use more energy more force to push off the sand so my quads can react my glutes and quads can react a little bit more. Make sure you maintain your spine angle. Don't round your back on the on when you're going down. Keep your head up, keep your head neutral. Because if you swing your head side to side or back and forth, what's gonna happen is your head, your body is gonna go where your head is. Because the head is the solo flex of the body. So if you drop your head down, your, bo your, your body is gonna go forward. If you drop your head back, your back is gonna go backwards, so you're gonna lose your spine angle. Make sure you keep your head neutral and allow your body to push, your lower body to push from the bottom to the top. And mind you, the leg that I'm holding up top, I'm engaging my core at the same time, doing a mini extension with my quad on the other side. So this is an amazing exercise. Get your whole body working, not just your lower body, but your lower body is gonna fire more, your heart rate goes up, that's gonna, that's gonna help you increase more met metabolic rate and be able to burn more fat, burn more calories, and also increase strength, balance, stability, and mobility. The next exercise I'm gonna show you is three combination exercises. I'm gonna show you a TRX squat, a TRX jump squat, and a TRX lateral hops. So it goes this way. So the TRX still up there. I'll grab a TRX. 
lean back a little bit like I want to do a hack squat. Make sure I have a light grip on the TRX and keep your hips back. Push through your glute. Make sure you push down to come up. Slow up, squeeze. I'm just holding onto the TRX. I'm not using the TRX to push my body up, but I'm pushing down to come up. So since I'm not using any other additional weight, I'm using my own body weight, I really have to go slow to make sure I'm using my quad. And as you can see, I'm not locking my knees all the way up. This is very important. I'm gonna come closer to the camera explain this. It's very important when you're doing squat, it could be weighted squat, it could be body weight squat, or it could be TRX squat. Make sure when you're doing squat, you don't lock your knees all the way to the top during the movement. You only want to get all the way to the top when the set is over. I see this common mistake every single day when I see guys in the gym or girls in the gym training and working out. When they're doing squats, in between the set, inside the set, they're coming all the way up to lock their knees. Once you lock your knees, you disengage your muscle. It's like you put you in the reset button every time you do a rep. So the only time you want to get out of the movement is when the set is over. So make sure you keep your knees slightly hinged so that way you can still keep the contraction in the muscle. Remember, it's always activation before motion. So I'm going to finish this combination. So continue the squat. Keep the hips back. Maintain a neutral spine angle. And stay down. Push through your hips. After I do about 10 reps, I'm going to do hop. One, stay down, push. Hips back, maintain your spine angle. Went through your heels, all the way down. Maintain your control. I'm just kind of hanging onto the TRX so I can sit back, but I'm not pulling with it. So at the end of my 10 jumps, I want to go lateral movement. So we'll go this way, lateral. Hop to the side. To the side now I can feel my glutes more hopping to the side pushing from the glutes I can feel my glutes stretch quad is still working heart rate going up side to side push ha. push Walk. push so there you have it I started with, with a squat, control, into a jump squat, a little bit more active when it comes to metabolic rate, and into a lateral jump squat, crossing my leg at the end, at, at the other side. So as you guys can see me now, I'm a little out of breath. It looks simple, but when you actually do it, it is not simple. It will challenge your body. Get your heart rate going, get the muscles working. Now, lifting weights or building muscle um, is not just about being fit. When you move your body in multiple directions, this is a mobility movement. Now, going side to side, um, crossing my leg on the other side, sitting on my glutes, there's no exercise you can do in the gym. Using any machine or using any weight, that's going to help you achieve that. So give it a try, be careful, make sure your knees don't go over your toes when you're doing the squats and when you're doing the lunge, make sure you sit back and use your quads and glutes and don't lock your knees all the way to the top when you're doing squats. The next exercise I'm going to do is a little bit more advanced. With this exercise, you need stability, control and balance. You also need agility as well. So I'm going to start with the TRX lunge, TRX, TRX hop lunge into a TRX burpees. That's a lot of combination. So I'm going to do one, one, and one. But once you do this for a while and you feel like your body is not being challenged doing this combination, you can actually step it up to the next level by doing two combinations, three, three, four, 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 or five, five, five. Or you can even finish doing the hop lunge first, go into a into a lunges and then going to a burpee, uh, uh, TRX burpees. So this is what it looks like. So I'm going to come to the TRX. So I'm going to turn double the two handles into one. So the way you do this 
is we're gonna loop the handles twice. You go over, under, and then under, over. Right there. Now the TRX is turned into one. So what I'm gonna do is lower the handle just a little bit and I'm gonna put my right, my right foot into the cradle. So right foot into the cradle, just like that. So in this position, I'm gonna go into a lunge. So I'm gonna lunge down, push up, good. Lunge down, push up. So as you guys can see, I'm not allowing my knees to go over my toes. Once again, another common mistakes, people doing lunges, especially walking lunges, for me, walking lunges is one of my number three worst exercises not to perform. Because when you're walking lunges, you're gonna have to shift your hips forward. While you're shifting your hips forward to keep, pick up that back leg, your knees goes over your toes. Over time, wear and tear, you're gonna have knee problems. So if you don't wanna have knee problems, please stop doing walking lunges. Do your lunges stationary and make sure you keep your knees behind your toes and keep your hips back. Let's come back to the TRX. I'm gonna hook my feet, my foot right there. Right foot on, left foot forward. So I'm gonna go down, knees behind the toes, hands stable, push up, hands stable, push up. I'm just gonna do five reps. And then I'm going to hop lunge. One, two, three, sit back, four. You guys can see I have to maintain my balance. And from here, I'm going to go into a TRX, a TRX um, burpees. So from here, I'm going to go here. One, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up. Now, that is very, very advanced. Heart rate is up right now. I'm actually using my breathing to control my heart rate. Glutes firing, quads firing, calves firing, hamstrings firing, heart rate up. And because I'm right on the sand, I'm pushing a little harder because every time I push, the sand gives. So make sure you use progression. The key point here is knee shouldn't be over your toes. And when you're doing the lunges, make sure you don't lock your knees all the way to the top until you finish the reps. And that's how it's done. So all these exercises are geared to make your workout more efficient. If you don't have enough time, or like I said in the beginning of the video, that if you're on the road, you don't have time to go to the gym, take your TRX with you. No more excuses. Thank you all for watching my videos. I love all the comments that you guys are putting on my videos. I appreciate your, your support. Once again, to get the full program of Miami Muscle, go to MiamiMuscleUSA.com, subscribe to our program, Everything is there to get you in a tip-top shape and even better. So go on to MiamiMuscleUSA.com. That's where you need to achieve your, your goal. That's where you're going to achieve your progress. Moji Olua for Miami Muscle. Until next time, keep training, stay in shape, and stay injury-free. I'm out.